This is a special report from ABC News Digital. I'm Dan Kleffler in New York with this ABC News Digital Special Report. Bombshell testimony today in the trial involving celebrity chef Nigella Lawson, accusing the star of lying on the stand last week. The allegations against the glamorous cooking queen, once the star of the popular show Nigella Bites, and cookbook author, fighting now for her name and to rebuild her empire. Today, though, one of the two sisters, former assistants, claiming Lawson did cocaine regularly and even let her kids smoke pot. The Grillo sisters are accused of scamming more than a million dollars from Lawson and her husband. And all of this is unfolding in London at the courthouse. And ABC's Lama Hassan is following it all as these developments seem to grow more intense every day, Lama. Um, I, I want to get right to it. Elizabeth Grillo on the stand today asking about buying cigarettes for Lawson's children when she dropped a bombshell. Yeah, one of many bombshells, I think it's quite safe to say. But, you know, think about it. This is a fraud trial that's really turned into a soap opera. But as you said, yes, today there was one bombshell where after another, where Elisabetta Grillo, and this is the first time that we've heard from her since this trial began, um, she was asked about a particular amount that she spent uh, in June 2010 for the amount of 70 pounds, that's about $114, and she said that she spent it on buying cigarettes for Nigella's children, and she acknowledged that they were underage, but she said that Nigella allowed her, allowed her children, rather, uh, to smoke weed, and I think the point that she was trying trying to make is that, you know, she had access to money, that she could take out money to spend on the house, to spend on the children, purely because she's been uh, with the family uh, since 1999. So she was trying to make the point that she's part of the family. I think that's what she was trying to do today. It, it, that, that kind of a connection, but at the same time, the details of the relationship, though, and just how close they were to those children. But also the testimony, I, want, I wanted to, to ask you about this, going against what Miss Lawson admitted last week that she only tried cocaine a few times during a difficult time in her life, making it appear that she was lying on the stand almost. Well, she was asked exactly that. Was Nigella Lawson lying? She was asked that today in court. And Elisabetta Grillo said yes. She was also asked whether or not Mr. Charles Saatchi was lying. And she also replied yes. You'll recall the last week when Nigella was taking the stand and she, she was giving evidence. She said that yes, she had tried cocaine a total of seven times in her life and, quote, smoked the odd joint. But now what Elisabetta is saying uh, is that that was not true. Um, her testimony was, was all lies. She saw more evidence uh, lying around the house, although acknowledging that she never actually saw Nigella take drugs. There was more evidence uh, lying around the house, if you like. And she also said that um, it happened quite often quote, like every three days. So quite damning evidence today in the courtroom. And again, like you said, yes, accusing Nigella of lying and not telling the truth under oath in a courtroom. One of the other interesting aspects of the testimony was that there were some specifics that she had testified about finding specific traces, finding actual cocaine in the house. Yeah, she, she said she spoke openly about that, and she said that she found evidence lying around the house. For example, she found an envelope that she picked up with a packet of white powder in it. She also claimed that there was a hollowed-out book that where Nigella allegedly kept her stash of cocaine in there. She found banknotes, including American dollars, with white powder on it, and CDs lying around the house as well. So that was the kind of evidence that she was giving today, that there was evidence, although she she never actually witnessed Nigella taking these drugs. Uh, aside from that subject, which has certainly gained a lot of attention, what else, though, did the Grillo sisters talk about when they were discussing the possibility of going around to bookstores to buy books? Yeah, I mean, this this is what I mean when I say this has really turned into a soap opera. What she was saying today is that Mr. Charles Saatchi would um, allow her, as well as other assistants, to take out between $300 and $400 four times a week to go around to bookstores um, and go on Amazon as well to buy his book for the pure reason of getting it to the top of the books, you know, the top of the list of, you know, best sellers, if you like. So that's what um, she claimed today. And again, I think the point 
that she was making there is that she had access to this money and that she was given specific instructions to use that money. Here in the States, obviously there is an obsession with a very high profile case like this and of course it gets played out in the court of public opinion. Yesterday though, a top official in the UK weighed in and it didn't sit so well with the judge presiding over this case. Well, that's one way of describing yeah. him. Yes, he is the Prime Minister, David Cameron. Yes, he gave an interview to The Spectator magazine where he was asked whether or not he was on Team Nigella. So you have to bear in mind that he actually wasn't asked about the court case itself. So, you know, I'll read you the quote um, that he said. He said, yes, I'm a massive fan. I am on Team Nigella. Um, I've had the great pleasure of meeting her a couple of times, and she always strikes me as a very funny and warm person. But I'm also an amateur cook and I like her recipes. So, of course, the judge speaking to the jury said, uh, well, they, he, t he instructed them uh, to ignore the prime minister's comments um, and actually apologize for wasting so much time talking about the prime minister and his comments. So he actually apologized to the jury. But going back to um, the court of public opinion, there was a really interesting article in the Sunday Times, the London Sunday Times last weekend, where Nigella came out on top. A lot of people sympathize with her, even though we have to remember this is not her on trial. It's not uh, Charles Saatchi on trial. It's her two assistants, Elisabetta and Francesca Grillo, who are accused of fraud. Of course, both are pleading not guilty. And, and, and to, to also add into the topics of discussion, Oprah Winfrey got brought up. Yes, and I have to read, what, not Elisabetta, she wasn't asked about that. It was another aide, another assistant who was asked about that. She was asked in court, uh, you, uh, you know, don't you, that Miss Lawson has signed an exclusive agreement with Oprah Winfrey in January? And uh, the assistant replied and said, that is not correct, but wouldn't really elaborate about which part is not correct. So it's a bit murky. Um, so read into it what you will. I mean, we'll only find out, I guess, one way in January if she pops up on Oprah and is interviewed by her. Right. And, and of course, Oprah, the way in which she is able to get more information out than probably we might ever be able to hear from <laughs> than this. Than anyone, yeah. Exactly. From, right. From, from judge or jury. So let me ask you this then, Lama. What's going on then with this case then? How, what, where, what's next for proceedings? Well, it depends on what happens next and who they want to uh, question uh, in the witness box, if you like. Elisabetta was still question today. She was still giving evidence today. So it all depends on what happens next week. But we do expect the trial to end sometime midweek next week. Uh, it depends on how long the jury takes, but no longer than the 20th of December. So well before Christmas. So we should get a verdict next week at some point. And of course, we all will be very closely watching for that. ABC's Lama Hassan in London. Lama, thank you so much. We appreciate it. Of course, we have a complete write-up right here on abcnews.com. For now, I'm Dan Kleffler in New York with this ABC News Digital Special Report.